Hello, everyone. Hello and welcome back to Let's Play the X-Files, folks. The last time um, we joined up with Asian Cook as we went on to a raid um, on Smolnikov's, uh, um, the uh, smuggler, um, Smolnikov, um, who Mark uh, Cook had identified as potentially a lead in the uh, the whole um, case into our two missing FBI agents. However, it didn't work. Um, yeah, he killed five men. Yeah, I've broke the autopsy report. But yeah, all hell broke loose. Um, so yeah, folks. Um, unfortunately, um, and you can see here, folks, just reading into uh, what um, thingy um, made of it all. Um, difficult to pay down. I am asteroid stormed in here. It was raged about not being told about the raid. That's funny, because Cook told me he'd called for SPD backup. And told Astrid about it too. I don't know what's going on. Cook is either screwing with my head, or he's dropped the ball big time. I just have to keep the focus on, my, on the job, job in front of me, finding these two agents, Mulder and Scully. Yes, folks. Um, we uh, went on a raid in, the, um, in, the, uh, in his warehouse. However... Things didn't work out. Um, Smolokov eventually getting um, released but due to lack of evidence, folks. But just as we um, were um, getting um, told off by Astra Dorian, we got a mysterious message, folks, on our answering machine. A man who seems to, says that he knows about what's going on with Mulder and Scully. And he has instructed us to meet us at the hangar at Sandpoint at dawn. Folks, we haven't really got any other leads at this point. We are going to have to go there and try and figure out what's going on. Sandpoint, Hangar Fawn, Dawn. I love this part of the game. It's one of my favourite scenes of the entire game, this. We don't know who we're here to see. We don't know what their intentions are. We don't know why they know what they claim to know. We are on a bit of a long hop, folks. Well, we better get searching. Alright, well, there's a few places you can go in here. Um, we are going to have to find this man who uh, is looking for us. We don't know what they want. We don't know why they want us, but we will have to find out. No. No one there. Hmm. Well, what you do want to go, folks, is um, from whatever screen is first. Let's go with this one here. What you need to do is turn right. And you've got this door we just came from here. There's another set of doors here, folks. This is where you want to go. I'm going to put a save state down. Because <laughs> I want to show this all off. Agent Romo. Who the? I'm so glad to see that you took my advice and came along. Stay right there, that's far enough. This is not a game, son. I'm serious. So am I. The most important thing is that you cannot tell anyone that I was here or that we spoke. No one in the Bureau. Not Cook, not Shanks, nor that Seattle police detective you've been teamed up with. Do you understand me? I need your word on this, Agent Wilmore, or I won't help you. Folks, say hello. To Mr. X, the, um, this guy uh, is—he's made his odd appearance here and there on um, the main TV series, folks. Um, but if you don't know him, don't worry about it. Now, I'm just going to give you a little clue of this guy. Do not fuck around. This guy will not take any of your bullshit, folks. You see? Would you like to see my badge? You can't even show him the badge, folks. I have very little patience and even less time. Do I have your word? Who are you? Yeah, he won't listen to that. 
I can't make that promise until I know who you are. It doesn't matter who I am. I need your word, Agent Wilmore. I'm not going to promise anything. That's very unfortunate, Agent Wilmore. What was that? Oh, God! Bloody hell! That's a bit OTT! What was that about? Jeez! Yeah. This man is serious. You have my word. Good. Listen very carefully to what I have to tell you. Lives are at stake here. Including your own. Mulder and Scully are still alive. So you said. But they won't be much longer if you don't do something about it. Scully and Mulder are not together. You need to find the Jane Doe that was checked into the Presbyterian Hospital in Goldbar three days ago. She's about to be released. This has nothing, I repeat, nothing to do with smuggled Soviet plutonium. So what is it? UFOs or secret government experiments? I do admire your cynicism, Agent Wilmore. <laughs> Too bad it's diluted with such naivete. Listen to me. If you're going to help Scully and Mulder, you're going to need something more than a gun. Men have died. Does that look familiar, Wilmore? It should do. I'm going to loan it to you for a short time. Because without it, there's no way that you could survive. The man that Mulder and Scully were looking for and the man that you need to find if you're going to save them can only be killed by inserting this blade into the base of his neck. Um, you can ask what your all sorts of things. Um, Mr. X, well, he'll, 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 this guy will just say, um, he'll reply the same thing regardless of what This man is not what he nope, seems. Nope, shut up. Shut up, you. Ugh. This man is not oh, what he whatever. seems. Oh, whatever. If the injury is not precise, he will kill you. Do not try firing a gun. Don't attempt to do anything except to use this. If anyone discovers that you have it, you're a dead man. Yes. Special little blade, that, folks. We are clearly getting into some serious shit here. Don't forget the Jane Doe at Goldbar. Thank you, sir. Whoever the hell you are, thank you. What of advice, folks. Don't follow him. Because he will give you a scary ass look and then proceed to murder you. We don't want that to happen, do we, folks? No, of course not. So this is what we've been given, folks. The stiletto. Some special blade of some kind. Again, some man who isn't what he seems, and the only way we can take him out is to put this into his neck. Jeepers. Whoa! Take it easy, it's me. I can see that. You get grumpy when your asses run ragged, don't you? What are you doing here? Are you kidding? After that phone message, I wouldn't have missed this for the world. world. Better be careful or he may run your ass ragged. Sorry for the audio I lag here. Mind that. It was kind of cute. Cute. Don't want to make it jump. Eh? Precious springs to mind. <laughs> Goodness. So, we kind of have a lot to talk about, don't we? Yeah, I guess we do. But first, Jane Doe and Goldbar. Ooh, we have plenty to talk about, my dear. Um, do we have anything at the on the um, thing here? Respond to a phone message. Meet black male individual. Won't ID self. So this must be used to kill the suspect with a stab in the back of the neck to save agents. Mulder and Scully still alive, but time is short. Said to find Jane Doe at Presbyterian Hospital in Goldbar. Nothing to do with smoke of plutonium. I am growing very concerned. This is increasingly outside of my realm of, realm of experience. 
You can say that again. Alright then, folks. Well, you heard the man. First thing you do is to check in. Try and find this Jane Doe before they get released. Which means we must now go on to the fourth disc of uh, Let's Play the X-Files. Which is annoying because I wasn't prepared for that to happen. God damn it. Uh, two seconds. Hold on. Yeah, I, I wasn't thinking that change disc was going to be till slightly later, but never mind. The Presbyterian Hospital, Gold Bar, Washington. Hello. May I ask your business here? Oh, yeah, we've just walked in here. Um, now... This is a fun place, uh, to, um, uh, have uh, a bit of fun here with the game, folks. Um, and you can see to what depths of idiocy Craig Wilmore is willing to reach... Um, I don't even know why. He's just an idiot, folks. Allow me to demonstrate. We're looking for Dana Scully. And who might you be? Watch both reactions here. Priceless. Her brother. One, two... Yes, her room is right down the hall here. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear me. I really can't believe I'm having to do this. <laughs> After five years at the Bureau, you should know better. I need your badge and gun. This is brilliant. Her brother. Astrodorian looks at Craig, thinking, What in God's green earth are you talking about? Are you mad? And then th I, the, the best part is just, I love Wilma's little, little glance, but he's like, Shut up, I know what I'm doing. You know, I, I'm, I'm the special agent here. I, I know what I'm doing. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, folks. But, um, yeah, don't want to say that. What you want to ask for, uh, don't ask for that either. You are pretty screwed. We're looking for a Jane Doe. May I see some identification? Uh, of course. How did you know we were cops? Who else would come looking for a Jane Doe? That's a good point. <laughs> What's your business one? with her? We need to make sure she's all right. Of course. What is her name? Um, why would you think we knew her name? Otherwise, why would you be investigating unless you knew who she was? That's a good point. So what is her name? Be honest, folks. Dana Scully. Yes. Uh, do you recall the name of her immediate superior? I need to phone him and I've misplaced his information. Now you see, Miss Presbyterian Nurse, that is what is called a lie. But, um, yeah. Walter Skinner. This is her room behind me. That is called a bit of rubbish, folks, in an attempt to deceive us. But uh, we're not going to fall for such devilish trickery. How was her wound? It's begun healing. It was mostly superficial. As to her other condition, I have no idea how to account for it. Wait. Other condition? Yeah, that. What other condition? I haven't been able to diagnose it yet, so I've been treating the symptoms. Lethargy, nausea, extreme listlessness, dehydration, memory loss. Dana's got to turn into a couch potato. But what about the X-Files series to come? Whatever will she do? Is she ready to leave yet? Oh, I wouldn't think so. Moving wouldn't be life-threatening, but she might not find it very pleasant. Has anyone else come to see her? Oh, no. Thank God you're the first. How did she get here? She was brought in. By whom? This is what used to be called a sanitarium, Detective. We're not bound by the same strictures as a conventional hospital, nor would we follow them. We pride ourselves on discretion for the patients, the better they can heal. That is what is known in the business as probably more bullshit, but, um... Unfortunately, we, we can't argue with her. Um, would you like to, um... Do you want to see my badge again? Oh, apparently she's okay at that. That's cool. Um, don't do more funny shit. She will throw you out. But uh, what we want to do is head through the door here, folks. And prepare yourselves. Are you Dana Scully? It's Gillian Anderson! Who are you? We're going to have some fun here. I'm with the Bureau. Pardon me if that doesn't put me at ease. What do you mean? Let me see your ID. All right, then. Fine. How do I know I can trust you? Who told you I was here? Uh... 
that. A black man. What black man? We don't know his name. That's ridiculous. You better explain There's a clue here as to what you need to help. do. Who sent you here? And that is you the must go show your stiletto, right. folks. That is the clue. You told me I couldn't tell anyone about it. If you don't, Let's she'll talk. um get you thrown out and point a gun at you because she's evil like that. Aren't you, Jillian? The devil. Yes, folks. Okay, then. So, um, do you want to see my badge again? Don't do that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am, please. Goodness me. How do you feel? Very weak. But actually, I feel a lot better than I did when I first came in here. Could you have radiation poisoning? God, I hope not. But I suppose the symptoms do line up. Yeah. There's a lot of radiation nonsense going on here. Do you have any idea where Mulder is? I have no idea, but we need to find him. Um, have you seen this guy before? Curiosity. Is this the man who shot you? No. I've never seen him before. Shit. I'm guessing the Smolnikov thing was a bit of a bust. Oh no! Oh, what have I done? Oh my god! I'm in the show of the stiletto. I've just put it in her neck. Oh! I just murdered Gillian Anderson. Oh dear! Oh my god, that wasn't meant to happen! Oh my god, I may have just murdered Dana Scully in a hospital bed. Craig Wilmore, in a fit of rage, in utter madness, has just gone berserk and just murdered Gillian Anderson. Oh my god, that was, um... That that was intentional. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um, I, I'm gonna have to reload the game. <laughs> Give me a couple seconds. Oh dear. Um, Miss Anderson, I, please, please forgive me. Please don't stalk me. Give me an idea where Mulder Did is. Did I ask where Mulder was? I have no idea, but we need to find him. I think I'd ask her. I think I asked her where Mulder was. Right. Let's ask her about the stiletto properly. What is this used for? I can't believe I did that. You shouldn't that. show that quite so openly. Oh, dear. I don't know what it's used for. Perhaps Mulder can tell you. I think we know what it's used for. <laughs> oh, dear. What happened in the warehouse? Mulder and I observed some suspicious traffic in and out of the warehouse. We went in to investigate. We were attacked by a number of armed men. I was shot. There was an odd light. Mulder carried me out of the warehouse. I blacked out and I woke up here. Just look at her. That. She she is staring a hole into my soul for what I did. I I, I will have nightmares for the next week of murdering Gillian Anderson in the hospital. Oh, Where does the Terracon fit into all this? Well, one way or another, they were involved in smuggling. I think that's a given. I think that there was an accident at sea involving plutonium. And Mulder thinks that they were somehow killed by an EBE. EBE? E -E? Yeah, that. Extraterrestrial biological entity. In other words, little grey men. What did your autopsy on the crewmen reveal? The crew had all been exposed to levels of radiation consistent with a large-scale nuclear blast. Now, clearly that didn't happen, but Mulder took that as proof that a UFO had landed in the area and that an alien life form aboard the craft had irradiated the Terracon crew. I take it you don't subscribe to that theory? There is always an alternate explanation. Whoa, I love that answer. Love that line. Anyone else been talking I'm afraid no. that's all I have to offer. What can you two tell me? Well, there have been other burn victims. I hope that doesn't mean that plutonium was being transported. There's an unidentified man involved. We encountered him at the burn site and then later again at the hauling yard. We found a connection between the warehouse and the hauling yard. It's a trucking outfit in Charna, Gordon's Hauling. 
They've made numerous deliveries between the warehouse and a rural route that we haven't had a chance to investigate. Seems to me that we need to find the identity of the man from the hauling yard and that you two need to pay a visit to the rural route address. What are you going to do? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is get in touch with Assistant Director Skinner, and then I'm going to check out of here. I can meet up with you two later at your field office, but I think that we have to hurry. Agent Mulder may be running out of time, and if the smugglers do have him held hostage, they have little incentive to keep him alive. Right. Now, before I do anything else wrong, I'm going to leave the building. Thank you, Gillian Anderson, for that very informative um, pieces of information there, folks. Oh, my goodness me. I don't believe I've done that. I... Oh, dear. I've... I've I have played this game several times, folks. I've never quite <laughs> managed that. Oh dear. Right. Well, um, yeah. Um, Scotty's going to check herself out of the hospital, folks. So, in the meantime, uh, we are going to go and check out the rural route one one two one, folks. Um, I could do this next video, but I'm going to do this whole segment now because I can. Won't take us too long. The little PDA of yours was right. I'm impressed. Hey, I'm not afraid of technology. Fong County, Washington. What is it that we're looking for again? Rear quarter panel from a 64 Dodge Dart. Something with the number 82434 on it, right? That's the idea. Looks like we got our work cut out for us. Mm. Yes, folks. You remember the little thing, um, the little uh, piece of information we got from the truck, um, the second night visit to the um, the uh, the warehouse, and had that rural route one one two one, and um, that was the number we had on it, folks. That was on the cut on the sheet here. We've got to find something that says that says the number, um, whatever the number was. I, I kind of forgot, folks. Now. Um, this little rail rod here, rail, rail rod, rail rod, rail yard, um, is not too complicated a place. Oh, numbers, 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 no, okay then. Um, now you can go in and out of this little place here. There's like, um, sort of two different lines of trains here. And you can go searching around, but, um, yeah, as you can see... We're going to struggle to see a lot from this place, folks. Um, we need a better vantage point. And there is a clue, actually, at the very end of the cutscene, folks. That's how Wilmore turned around and saw, like, a, a big pole of some kind. Um, it's not down this way, is it? No. Oh, it is down this way. Yes, it is, indeed. My apologies, folks. Um, there are these telephone poles here. We need to climb up them. That be one of the more wobblier telephone poles I ever saw. Maybe we can get a bit of better vantage point up here, folks. Um, what you need here is your binoculars. I know they're tinted, folks, but to be fair, can't see anything. Darn. Uh, can I get down? Can do. Yes. Now, the very conniving thing about this place, folks, you might go up there, you see it was going spinning crazy and thinking, hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, we can have a chat with you. Oh, cool. I didn't know we could do that if we got the... There's actually two poles, folks, um, and I've deliberately kind of gone on the wrong one. Um, well, he says deliberately. <laughs> um, we've got the wrong one. There is another one, but I didn't realize we could come and have a chat with you if we got the wrong one. I didn't know that. Well, let's have a chat then. What could they use this place for? Are you kidding? I'm surprised their operation is this big. The thought of plutonium traveling all over the country via rail is Sorry pretty about terrifying. That, it's changing safety. Especially considering Amtrak's record. Yeah. This yard is deserted. I wish I got that joke, used but I'm years. not American, so I don't get the joke. Are we looking in the wrong place? Mm, I don't know. This is the rural route, no doubt about that. Maybe just A2434 doesn't mean anything. 
It certainly does. Whose theory do you believe? Mulder's or Scully's? Scully's obviously a by-the-book agent. I think it's great to hear of a detective who's a creative thinker. I'm looking forward to meeting Agent Mulder. Now, interesting enough, I believe there's actually a second variant of that little chat there, the last line there with um, Mulder and Scully. You can have another one, apparently, with um, Asha Joy, where she basically thinks that um, Mulder is a nut. Basically. Right, what we need to do is go all the way back the other way, folks. Um... Oh, bloody hell. Now, hold on, what have I done wrong here? Am I being daft? Where's the... It's not that... Hold on, isn't that the right pole? Am I, am I being daft? Hold on a second. I... Hold on. Have I been stupid? Am I being stupid, folks? I fear I'm being a bit stupid. Let's go all the way down this other pathway. No, oh, hold on. Am I? I. I'm. Hold on a second. Am I being? Sh I. I. Hold on. Am I? Oh my goodness me! There's not two posts, you idiot. No, not to post shadow, to views. Oh, you silly man. Yeah, sorry, being a bit daft. Uh, I, I, I've set it on the way around, folks. What you need to do is, while you're on the post, you can actually turn around and you can actually look both up and down, folks. Turn around, then get your binoculars out, and you see this little silver train here. Eight, two, four, three, four. There is the train we're after. Sorry about that. Had a had a dumb moment. Not the first time. Will not be the last. Ugh, I can't believe I just did that. <laughs> uh okay then folks. Well This is the big silver train. I think. Here it is, yes. This car's been burned. Burned? Um. About to say, are you gonna let me do anything? Thanks. Car's been burned. Whoa! Bloody hell! Well, obviously, this fire is recent. Now, this doesn't look good. Can't chat with Mary, unfortunately, but, um... Yeah! This car's been burnt to shit! This is a complete and utter mess. Um... Yeah. We can't find a whole lot of anything in here, folks. Um, this car has been destroyed. This looks like an operating room of some kind. There is all there's all sort of bits and tools in here, folks, but it's it's just all been destroyed. It's like um some kind of is that like a holding chest tube or something? I don't know, folks, but I say this thing old thing's been completely destroyed. Mm. Well, we ain't gonna find out much here, but um call it a hunch. Considering the uh, the state of the car from the outside and the number on top, I think someone may be trying to cover some tracks here. Well, nothing for it, but um, to well, leave the car. Hey, 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 hey hold on, Special Agent Wilmot, FBI. Don't make me I shoot you. Nothing. Nobody said that you did. We just want to talk to you. Folks, say hello to the homeless bum. This is uh, some kind of entertainment. Uh, where do we start? Well, I suppose we'll start with the closest thing, don't we? 
Is this your home? Home is where the heart is, near or far away. That was informative. <laughs> See anything strange around here? Uh, just the two of you. And the birds, of course. He's a nut. Great um, deduction there, Ashadorium. What is this place used for? Well, Don, the Boy Scouts conduct covert operations out here. Boy Scouts? There's been a fire in a boxcar back there. You know anything about that? Sure, Don. I saw the guys who said it. What did they look like? Bloodless yuppies in cheap suits. Two of them. They backed that car up here yesterday and set fire to it in my own backyard. Can you believe that? Disgusting, isn't it? Uh, I have some stuff, Don. Got it out of that burnt car. You may want it. What kind of stuff? What, from the boxcar? Yeah, the boxcar. You tell me, Don. What kind of stuff do I have? Yes, folks. We have a guessing game to play. And um, you only get limited... Op you only get a few opportunities to get this right. I think you get about 10 guesses in total or something like that. 10, 12, somewhere around that sort of number. If you don't get it right, you will lose the game. So, um... Yeah. Well, let's have some fun here. I, I know what the actual answer is, but uh, let's uh, let let's try and do this logically. Well, first things first. It's going to be a bit of a blind guess, so start the top one. Equipment. Close. And you see, if you do get something right, folks, or sort of right, you'll see more options will start um, to open up. May not be the right option, but uh, you have to try and narrow down what you're looking for. Papers? Papers, yeah, you'd like that. Tax returns. My tax returns, probably. <laughs> you from the IRS? No, actually, we're... Never mind, Jane. I don't want to know. <laughs> Photographs. Photos? I'm not saying yes, I'm not saying no. You're in the neighborhood. There's a couple clues already, so something to do with photos. Sort of photos, and some kind of equipment. No, it's not computer disks. Say that now. So what we got is slab projector, computer, tape recorder, copy machine. Hmm. The types of pictures. Still pictures. Stills, no, Don, make a move, you know. <laughs> Before he sleep holes. Moving pictures. Yes. And no. Oh. Hmm. Moving pictures, folks. Tape recorder. You're a bloodhound. You're closing in now. What kind? Yeah, we're getting there. Some kind of... Hmm. Motion picture film. Look, I like a good flick, but this ain't no bargain matinee. And there are no previews of coming attractions. Keep trying. I do not know any of the things he just talked about. I have no idea. Uh, hmm. Video tape recorder. <gasps> You're like a laser. Like the light of the sun. Getting very close, folks. Uh, again, I know what the answer is, but I'm curious to see what some of these other ones are. What the hell is that? Cellophane tape recorder? <laughs> Look, I like a joke as much as the next guy, but one more outburst like that and I will be forced to clear the courtroom. Yeah. I don't even know what that is, folks, but... Um... Digital video. What? I never heard of it. But then, I'm not on the cutting edge anymore. You've lost me there. Yeah, folks, um, no more guesses, really. probably much it. You're looking for this. Videotape? Yes, sir, we have a winner. Videotape it is. Congratulations, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Uh, ten bucks. Ten bucks? <laughs> we almost not got ten bucks on him. <laughs> oh, dear. Pleasure doing business with you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you cheap ass, um, Wilmore. Oh, goodness me. But um, this is what um, that guy recovered from the boxcar, a videotape. Now, I can only think of one really appropriate place to go viewing a videotape, folks. And that... Ooh. You have mail. Ooh, we have mail. What kind of mail do we have? Bomb forensics. 
I've completed an initial analysis of the bomb type that destroyed the structure in Sharno. The one we got trapped in? This was a very professional device. I believe it used a compound called HGW907, which is an extremely powerful blast chemical used exclusively by the US military. Navy SEALs, to be exact. It is a super stable compound uh, that starts when two separate catalytic agents. Um, it's a bit technical here, admittedly, a little bit. When the two agents are mixed, um, they will not detonate if the cohesion takes place in the presence of a low amperage direct current electrical signal. So long as the baseline voltage is maintained, the mixture remains inert. It doesn't go off. If the voltage increases, decreases, or stops, the compound instantly becomes super volatile. A heavy footstep from 10 yards can provide sufficient impetus for detonation. This essentially renders any device made of this compound defuse proof. In the case of Sharno device, a micro coupled negative presence capacitor was put into the positive lead line going to the timer to the blast mixture. So once the direct signal current stopped via either the timer or intervention, like a pair of, of wire cutters, the capacitor kicked in with a large amperage electrical pulse that caused the bomb to detonate. Luckily, my operator might have been able to cut the line from the capacitor downstream, stopping the DC pulse. But the energy from his wire cutters closing would probably have been enough to initiate detonation anyway. Basically, you weren't going to defuse that bomb. That is a serious piece of equipment. I'm concerned because a device of this nature should not be found outside the field of influence of the military. If an ex-Navy SEAL has managed to get his hands on some of the stuff, and he has an axe to grind, we can have some serious trouble on our hands. A search of the able stockpile sinkage records indicates all HCW907 stocks are present and accounted for. To my knowledge, this compound has never been available through the black market. Now, what Monte Joffin, Monte, oh, I don't know, what he's basically trying to tell you guys is that the bomb that was armed at Charno was a professional piece of military equipment that only the military have access to. It's not around on the black market, and according to the military stocks, all the actual stock of this type of bomb are all accounted and present for. Now, I don't know whether I'm just being a little bit cynical here, but um, does that maybe suggest some kind of military intervention of some kind? Thinking about the two guys we tried to ID and couldn't because we got restricted data. This is looking like a lot more than just a smuggling ring. <laughs> oh, goodness me. Big, big problems, folks. Next time on Let's Play the X-Files, folks, um, we are going to be making our way back to the field office we got the videotape from the uh from the burnt box car we want to have a look at we found scully as well Mulder is still at large and surely he must be the next target if we can find Mulder, maybe we can find out what's been going on this whole time and see just where this dirt trail is gonna lead us folks I have a feeling there's not going to be a pot of gold at the end of this rainbow, but um, we'll have to see. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I will see you next time.